Hi everyone, my name is TPD KFC Richard. Please welcome to my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today, our discussion will be on partial differential equations. Before this video will end, I will take you through the explanation of the partial differential equations, the literature aspect as well as the mathematical aspect of it. Then, before you can solve partial differential equation very well, you need some tools. That's your knowledge in the previous courses you have taken. For instance, your partial differentiation, which you did in calculus three or calculus of several variables. Then, your knowledge in, in direct integration, as well as ordinary differential equation. So before this video will end today, I will introduce the partial differential equation to you, take you through simple partial differentiations as well as direct integration. So come with me. So, as I told you, partial differential equation are equations that involve partial derivative of two or more independent variables. Please, the attention is on two or more independent variables. So, as you know, you know how to differentiate when we have an equation like this, maybe 3x squared plus 5x, and you have to differentiate this. You know, the y by ds is equal to say 6x plus 5. So, this equation, the y by ds, equal to 6x plus 5 is an ordinary differential equation because it involves only one independent variable. Remember the dependent variable here is y and the independent is x. So this is an ordinary differential equation. The partial differential equation comes in if let's say we have a function x dependent on x and let's say t. Okay? And the function is equal to 3x squared t plus 2t. Now to differentiate this with respect to only one, the, one of the independent variables. Don't worry, I'll take you through how to do partial differentiation. We call this partial differentiation. So we can get, that means we are going to differentiate it with respect to s. So when we differentiate this, we get 6xt since there is no x that we consider that as constant, then this becomes a partial differentiation with respect to x. This can be written as del y over del x is equal to 6xt. This becomes a partial differential equation. I hope you get that. I will take you through how to do partial differentiation as well as direct integration for you to get a concept of partial differential equations. Okay, so as I promised you, I will take you through how to do partial differentiation. Partial differentiation is very, very important when it comes to partial differential equations. So you might have forgotten. So I want us to go through. I'll solve this, maybe two more, so that you get a concept. Now, a function u is dependent on x and y is equal to 2x squared plus 3xy squared and you are asked to differentiate the function with respect to x then differentiate the function with respect to x twice differentiate it with respect to y differentiate it with respect to y twice differentiate it with respect to x then with respect to y then differentiate it with respect to y then with respect to x so i'll take you through that so our function u which is dependent on two independent variables is equal to 2x squared plus 2 plus 3xy squared. So now, one thing about partial differential equation is the function we are differentiating with respect to, our attention will be on that function, uh, that variable. The variable we are differentiating with respect to, our attention will be on that variable. Any other variable will be considered as constant in differentiation. That's the trick. So let's see. So u 
the differential of u with respect to x. So now we can differentiate this because there is no y there. So even if there is y, we consider it as constant. So I'll differentiate this. You know, we'll get 6x squared. This is constant. So the differentiation of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable. So the coefficient will be 3, y squared. So this is the partial differentiation with respect to x. Now let's do the partial differentiation with respect to x twice. So it simply means that what we differentiate here, we differentiate again. So I'll differentiate this, we we'll get 12 x. There is no x here, so we we'll consider the whole of that as constant. So this becomes the differentiation of the partial differentiation of u with respect to x two times. So now let's go to the third one, which says that the the partial differentiation of u with respect to y. So in this case, our attention will be on y and x will be considered as constant. So let's come to our function again. Look at it. There is no y here, so the whole of that is constant. So the differentiation of a constant is zero. Then the differentiation of this, you know, we drop this to multiply 3, that becomes 6. X is constant, so we write a constant as well, y. So that's the differentiation of u with respect to y. Now let's go to the fourth one. The differentiation of... Now the differentiation of u with respect to y two times. So now we differentiate u with respect to y again to get a differentiation of u with respect to y two times. So we consider any other variable in that equation as constant. As constant. So this is constant. A differentiation of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable. So this becomes the partial differentiation of u two times. Now we'll go to the rest, but our body is full up, I'll clean this part. Then we'll do the partial differentiation with respect to x, then with respect to y, then partial differentiation with respect to y, then with respect to x. These two are very important, that's why I put it as lab. It will help us develop a theory, so take notice of it. Okay, so the fourth one, and the fifth one actually, the fifth one. So the partial differentiation of u with respect to x, then with respect to y. So first we differentiate it with respect to x. Remember, y will be considered as constant. So this will be 6x squared plus 3y squared. Then we differentiate this with respect to y. So this is constant because there is no y there. So the whole of that is constant. And the differentiation of this will be 6y. Now the last one, the differentiation of u with respect to y then with respect to x. So first let's differentiate with respect to y. So x will be considered as constant in that case. So the whole of this will be 0 and this will be 6xy. Now the differentiation of that with respect to x now. So y will be considered as constant. One differentiate this with the 6 of y. So Check this out. Keep them in mind. See that they are the same. It will help us develop a tool. I'll solve one more question on fractions so that you get a concept. Okay, so there is one more question on fraction. It says z is equal to 9 u over u squared plus 5 u. Find the partial differentiation of z with respect to v. With respect to v. So the u will be considered as constant in that case. So this, we can rewrite that as 9u bracket u squared plus 5v exponent negative 1. I hope you understand that, yes. So 9u is considered as constant. So this is constant plus 5v. So to differentiate that, remember, chain rule, we'll drop that, differentiate what is in the bracket, repeat the bracket, and subtract 1 from the exponent. So let's drop that again, negative 9u. On differentiate 9u here to be constant, we differentiate, so it's 0. We differentiate 5, we will get what? 5. Then you repeat the brackets. 
then you subtract 1 from the exponent. So we minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2. On poly, the 9u plus 5 will give you minus 45u. Then u squared plus 5v exponent negative 2. So in this case, we can drop this. The minus 45v all over u squared plus 5v exponent 2. So this becomes the partial differentiation of z with respect to z. With respect to b. Remember, this can be written as del z over del v. It can be written as that. Any of them is correct. Now we differentiate z with respect to u. Then we take it from there. Okay. So now we are going to do the partial differentiation with respect to u. With respect to u. This we can use quotient rule to do that. Quotient. Since it is a fraction, there is really and u here. So you can use quotient. So let our maybe a to be equal to 9u. So dA over du, that's partial derivative. So let me write partial. Del A over del U will be 9. Then we let B to be equal to U squared plus 5V. So del B over del U, del U will be, there is U here, so we get 2U. Then remember, it's partial derivative with respect to U. So this becomes constant. That becomes constant. So our partial derivative with respect to U from product of will be b del a over del u minus a del b over del u all over all over what the denominator which is what b all over b square so now let's go this was our b our b is u squared plus 5v. What's our del a over del u? That's 9. So I can write it here for 9 to multiply that minus. What's our a? Our a is 9u. 9u. What's our del b over del u? That's what? 2u. All over. All over our b squared. And b is what? u squared plus 5v all squared. So we can expand this. This will be 9u squared plus 45v minus 9 times 2. That will be 18u squared. All over u squared plus 5v all squared. So remember, this was our last point before our board got full up and we write. So we just group like this. So 9u squared minus 18u squared plus 45v all over u squared plus 5v all squared. So 9u, minus, 9U squared minus 18u squared, that would be negative 9u squared plus 45v all over u squared plus 5v all squared. So, finally, our partial derivative with respect to u will be equal to 45v minus 9u squared all over u squared plus 5v all squared. So, this becomes a partial derivative. Remember, this can be written as del z over del u. Remember, it's the same. Coincidence is the same anyway. Now, I'll solve one more question on transcendental function so that you get a concept very well. Thank you. So, there is one more question on transcendental function as I promised. So, the function g, which is dependent on three independent variables, x, y, and z, is equal to x sine y all over z squared. So we say we should find a partial differentiation with respect to g, uh, with respect to x, 
then with respect to y, then with respect to z. So now, let's do our function, which is dependent on three that independent variables, is this x sine y over z squared. So partial derivative with respect to x. So now we are differentiating with the, our attention will be on x. Any other thing will be constant. Yes. So this is constant, this is also constant. So I want to differentiate a linear term. This is a linear term, it's a coefficient of the variable. So the coefficient is this. So the differential of g with respect to x will just be sine y over z squared. That's all. Now, the second one, the differential of g with respect to y. With respect to y. So x and over z squared or z squared will be constants. So our attention will be on sine y. Remember the differentiation of sine is cos. So we differentiate this and use it to multiply cos. The differential of this is 1. So we get x cos y all over z squared. That becomes the differential of g with respect to y. Now the differential of g with respect to z, z. So I can rewrite the function as x sine y z exponent negative 2. So the whole of this is constant. So remember, this is an exponential function, it's being exponented. So we use change rule, we draw differentiate, we drop this, that we drop this and subtract one from the exponent using simple differentiation rule. So when we drop this, we get negative 2x, our sine y, then we subtract one, z negative 2. So in our share, our differential of g with respect to z will be negative 2x sine y all over Z equal. That becomes our differential of G with respect to Z. So we'll end it here. Our next video, I'll try to do direct integration and we'll delve into how to classify partial differential equations according to degree, according to the order, according to homogeneity, linearity, as well as constant and variable coefficient differential uh, partial differential equations. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Bye bye.